Pericarditis is the inflammation of pericardium. Etiology. Most of the time, it is presumed that Coxsackie virus is the contributing factor to cause pericarditis. However, bacterial and fungal infections can also cause pericarditis. If someone has gone through a myocardial infarction and cabbage in the recent past, can develop pericarditis. Metabolic causes include uremia and hypothyroidism. Neoplasms such as Hodgkin lymphoma, breast, lung cancer, the cancers which can metastase into the pericardium and cause inflammation. Whereas collagen vascular diseases, autoimmune diseases, vascular conditions such as aortic dissecting aneurysm can be the contributing factor to cause inflammation in pericardium. Drugs and radiation therapies are also involved in the etiology of pericarditis. Acute pericarditis is diagnosed based on the presenting complaint, physical examination, and ECG change. If someone comes with a complaint of sudden onset of sharp chest pain, the person might feel restless uh, while in supine position, but it can get better while sitting up and leaning forward. On physical examination, friction rub can be noticed, whereas ECG shows ST segment elevation and PR depression. Investigations. ECG initially shows diffuse ST segment elevation and PR depression. Chest X-ray shows pulmonary infiltrates. Echocardiogram is done to check for pericardial effusion. Biomarkers are only elevated when there is an involvement of myocardium. This is an ECG of pericarditis showing ST segment elevation and PR depression. Treatment of pericarditis is to treat the underlying disease. We can give high dose and said to reduce inflammation. Colchicin is advisable for recurrent pericarditis. Complications of pericarditis are recurrent episodes of pericarditis leading to constructive pericarditis, pericardial effusion, and cardiac tamponade.